Hello, I am hiding from small children, which every parent in lockdown will understand. If we get through this without any interruptions, I would say that's a success. So let's see how we go. Um, I'm bringing you today's devotional from Psalm 46. So I'm just going to read it with you and then I'm going to share um, some of my thoughts and share with you something that um, I've written. God, you're such a safe and powerful place to find refuge. You're a proven help in time of trouble, more than enough and always available whenever I need you. So we will never fear, even if every structure of support were to crumble away. We will not fear, even when the earth quakes and shakes, moving mountains and casting them into the sea. For the raging roar of stormy winds and crashing waves cannot erode our faith in you. Pause in his presence. God has a constantly flowing river whose sparkling streams bring joy and delight to his people. His river flows right through the city of God Most High into his dwelling places. God is in the midst of his city, secure and never shaken. At daybreak, his help will be seen with the appearing of the dawn. When the nations are in uproar with their tottering kingdoms, God simply raises his voice and the earth begins to disintegrate before him. Here he comes, the commander, the mighty Lord of angel armies is on our side. The God of Jacob fights for us. Pause in his presence. Everyone look, come and see the breathtaking wonders of our God, for he brings both ruin and revival. He's the one who makes conflicts end throughout the earth, breaking and burning every weapon of war. Surrender your anxiety, be silent and stop your striving, and you will see that I am God. I am the God above all the nations, and I will be exalted throughout the whole earth. Here he stands, the commander, the mighty Lord of angel armies is on our side. The God of Jacob fights for us. Pause in his presence. And it's that phrase, pause in his presence, that um, I want to encourage us to do today. Just take a moment, wherever you're at, whatever you're in, We've been in lockdown for a few weeks now, so some of us will have adjusted, some of us will still be finding it really hard and there'll be the challenge of everything going on around us. Um, and I just want to encourage us to remember that whatever is going on, just to turn our attention to God, just to pause in his presence. There is the most amazing experience um, that I had once where um, we were encouraged just to stop, just close our eyes, and just turn our attention to God. And in that split moment, you could feel God's presence was there and you realise and remember that he had never gone away. He was there with you the whole time. And I just love to take those moments and just stop and pause and to turn my attention to God and remember he is right there in the thick of it with me, wherever I'm at, whatever I'm doing, whatever I'm feeling, whatever I'm faced with, he is there. And I've written, I suppose, a poem or a short psalm or whatever you want to call it. Um, I've written sort of my interpretation or um, my version of Psalm 46. Um, so I'm just going to share that with you now. When your world is shaken and everything changes, be still and know that I am God. When there's fear all around you and your ground feels less solid, be still and know that I am God. When your children are yelling and you can't dull it down, when the house is too silent, you can hear yourself frown. Be still and know that I am God. When you yet again reach the end of your day and you realise you forgot to sit down and pray, be still and know that I am God. When your work keeps you busy, you've no time to stop. When you wish you had work, but that doesn't seem to be your lot, be still and know that I am God. When you have so much to give for the need all around you, when your offering seems empty and the need has become you, be still and know that I am God. When spring ushers in its fresh new life, when the clouds bring the rain and shut out the light, be still and know that I am God. I was here at the start and I'm here with you now. Turn your attention and your thoughts and your heart. Stop wrestling with what could be and should be and ought. Turn your attention, give me your gaze. 
let's just be together through this phase. Rest in my presence and let me revive. It's time to stoke up that fire inside. You have it all. Yes, you have it all. A child of the King. It's you whom I've called to be still and know that I am God. And that's my prayer for us today is that we will just take that moment to be still and know that God is our God and he's in control and he is awesome.